football purse. I'm obsessed with this, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little, a little afraid to take it out. So we are in Vegas this weekend for the Super Bowl. This will be, I think, my second ever football game that I've been to. And you know what? I'm embracing that. I am embracing that. I'm here this weekend on a work trip, a work trip. I'm working with a few different brands. It's honestly dreamy. I brought some of my girlfriends here to come and enjoy the weekend with me. Just to give some background, I am working with the Wynn Hotel. That is this beautiful, gorgeous hotel that I'm staying in right now. I'm working with Celsius, which is the very first brand that ever paid me a dollar when I first started social media. Like, I think I've been working with them for probably a year and a half now, which is amazing. They're such a good partner to work with. So I'm here with them. And then I'm working with Louis Vuitton, which is an absolute dream brand. And then I'm also working with Cadillac. So we have a lot, a lot of content to push out the next couple days. Tonight is Friday night. I came in last night. I got here super late. I had to like run out to an event. And then today I went to the mountains that are like an hour drive outside of Las Vegas. And I test drove some race cars with Cadillac. And a few hours ago, my friend Maddie got here. My friend Peyton got here. They are my, my gals for the weekend. And then my manager, Ashley, is also here. So we're just getting ready for dinner. And then tonight we're going to a Revolve event. And then we're going to this event at the Wynn. A bit different of a sporting event, but honestly, they're all, they're all kind of the same in some ways. Like you have the sport and then you have the fashion and the food and the events. And I feel like this year for some reason, Super Bowl just feels a little bit more spectacular to me. Honestly, in past years, like I don't even think I knew who was playing. We went to a Super Bowl party two or three years ago and Taylor and I were getting interviewed on this carpet and they asked, who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? And I literally did not know who was playing. Who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? I'm gonna go with the Rams. That's not the case this year. Taylor's boyfriend's team is playing, so I know that. I know that. And I'm so excited about my outfits for the weekend. It's definitely, it's a little bit outside my comfort zone. These are not tennis fits. They're not tennis fits. I'm also in Vegas. It's kind of fun for me to go to a different type of event and like be able to step outside my comfort zone. Today I'm wearing jeans, first of all, which I literally never, ever, ever <laughs> wear jeans, honestly. But I'm wearing this. I have this little gold Judith Lieber bag and the reason that I got a Judith Lieber is because I wanted to tie in this like Taylor Swift thing so the owners of the Chiefs gave Taylor Swift a microphone Judith Lieber bag for her birthday this year so I kind of I don't know I wanted to kind of do an ode to that and then I'm wearing these little gold heels pretty much all of this is from Revolve and then my jeans are Alice and Olivia why it's really, it's actually very cold in Vegas right now. It's like 40 degrees, which I was not expecting. So we're gonna tough it out because I absolutely refuse to wear a jacket. Let Super Bowl weekend commence. Where them girls at, girls at. All right, we've got Maddie. Did you finally pick out that outfit? I'm wearing it two days in a row. No! Yeah. Uh, okay, Maddie's Why? supposed to wear that dress to match with me tomorrow. I'm Ashley's wearing, I'm, here. I'm wearing, Ashley, what do you guys think? Night. Morgan said I can't wear this, it's fully. It's literally her entire ass cheek is it's out. Sheer. Like I can see her butthole. It's Vegas. <laughs> it is Vegas. I feel like that's a little Miami though. And then Peyton, where's the fit from? Roll. Did you just take a shot? No, I just she had a big gun. Yeah. Nice. This lighting's crazy. I know it's so good. Wow. I just blew up. <laughs> I matched my bag to Morgan's top. No, I just wanted to wear this bag. Yeah. How's that matching? Oh, because the gold. gold. What do you do in your inner corner? Tell them what you do in your inner corner because it looks That's so good. good. This? I guess right. Wait, don't do too much. Show me how to do it. I was sleeping over at Morgan's and I'm kind of gross and don't care about anything. And I used her toothbrush. And Dude. as I'm brushing my teeth, she walks in and she goes, Please tell me that's not my toothbrush. I caught you in the act. It was, <laughs> it, broke. it was the worst thing anyone's ever done to me. All and right. the worst part about it is that you were gonna use my toothbrush. And, and I'll say anything, and I'll say anything. Also, I asked all my friends after that, guys, obviously that's not that weird. 
tell me about spirit and they go, that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. We are walking to dinner. This is the win. It is absolutely packed. I have only ever been to Vegas for F1 before. I've so. so many middle American men since I live in Texas. Much later. It is night two, as you can probably imagine. Uh, we were not not super productive today. I'm putting blister pads on my feet right now because my shoes are a little too big. So I'm trying to yeah, <laughs> make my idea. feet longer so then it'll like come yeah, and see. Yeah. Last night was fun. We swung by the Revolve event for a hot sec. We it saw was, Future. We did see Future. Caught up with a lot of people. It was a lot. There was a lot of people there. there was a lot um, of people. It was very... Sini, who do you think is like the most interesting person you saw last week? I feel Jackson like <laughs> <laughs> scary, scary, scary hours. Um, we just saw the funniest TikTok of him at this event trying last night. Trying to get into his sister in law's so table good. beginning tonight. I don't know. I thought I saw some of my friends just from LA that I feel like I always see, like people I actually genuinely love in this life. And then I saw some people that were like. That reminded me, like, I, I know I've seen these people when I was in, like, a more of a club era. Uh, yeah. So, like, it was, like, a little scary at so hours. just never get out of it. No, I just, am, like, old, <laughs> like, older men, kind of, who I was, like, I feel like I've seen you before somewhere. And scary. you freaked me out then. And it's been, and like, still six freaked years. Out. And you're still scaring me. So we did the Revolve thing, and then we did, um... Fountain Blue. We, we went, went to, to Komodo at Fountain Blue. Yes, to go meet with our friend Sophie, kind of like in the midst of going to something else. And then we ended up just like never leaving that hotel, really, until... No, it was like, you know in Percy Jackson, when they go in the hotel and it's like a time warp, mm -hmm. and days pass by, yeah, yeah. it feels like minutes, That that's what happened to us what last night. Like. Then we went to the bar, <laughs> and then we were just sitting there for a while, and then we came back here and decided that we're going to gamble. <gasps> Yeah, I lost so much money last night. Maybe also like she gambling. was kind of like on one too. She yeah. was really committed to the gambling. Bit I was of it all. really committed to the gambling. We played so. blackjack. I can't do math, so mm -hmm. I'm like obviously I lost all my money. I was like, I was like I cannot we leave right now. Go any longer. <laughs> I kept saying I'm like guys, it's only 8:30 p.m. It's only 8:30. Like, it's literally and it was in the five in the morning. And then we got back here. We ordered room service, and Maddie orders a full glass of Merlot at 6 a.m. I was like, <laughs> that is so sad. Maddie fell. I had oh a BLT again. I've had, um, I've had three. four, four. three. I think it's three Four. BLTs three. in like 10 hours. I've had yeah. three BLTs in the last 10 hours. <laughs> There's so much in this Encore win mm -hmm. property that you really don't have to leave. No. Yeah, wins. good. I think I, I like the stay here has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. I don't think I ever showed my room, our room yet. It's kind of a, it's a girl room. It's a it's disaster. It's so bad. And it's this a is clean. Disaster. This is a clean version. <laughs> Maddie <laughs> cannot pick up her trash. <laughs> so it's just littered Actual disaster. with Maddie. It's like a she her suitcase threw up yeah, all over the room. Oh, oh! right on cue. Oh, there wow. she is. Let's see the hair. hair. Who's that one? She you? Looks good. Hey, it hey, looks good. No. No. What? They're good They're to go. Vlogging. For Vegas. Really cute. Say hey. Really Are you gonna get changed right. really quick so we can go? Look at these pants though. They're on the ground. Wait. That'd be funny. For American Oh, Paris. I love this fit though. It's so good, but like this is gonna be look how Where's it from? This is from Revolve. Cute. I like it. I'm still deciding on what purse I'm going to wear because I have a few different options, but I'm like, 
it is a very little very little silver dress so i have little silver heels to match it because i really like like full matching a dress exactly the color of the heels and i feel like from how like <laughs> Nice. Thank you, Maddie. <laughs> I kind of want to wear this out, but I don't know how to describe this. The attention that we've been getting here is from from like old men is really disgusting me, and I'm scared that if I wear this bag tonight, it will become a topic of conversation and will give people like an oh. in to start talking to me. Yeah, not... Does that make sense? I don't yeah. know if that makes any I sense. Feel like that's why I have about going out tonight? No, because those guys are just like predatory. It's it's the it's the worst male yeah, type of male attention I've ever experienced in my life here. Actually, I don't know. There's something in the water that is making the men in Las Vegas feral and, and disgusting. Not attractive men. Yesterday when we were walking though, we were on the way to dinner, I think, and this guy, I think he was like messed up on something, but he walked past me and like grabbed my arm really hard and like yanked me. And I don't know what it was about. I didn't even, I couldn't even react really because I was so shocked by it, but I'm like, oh my God, like being, being a lady is hard. But honestly, this weekend is nice because we're here with brand partners, hotels taken care of, all the dinners are taken care of. Um, and so we're really having like a true, true, true girls weekend in the best, best possible way. Um, dress is from Retrofet. The shoes are from Shuts. And then instead of the football, bag. I think I'm just going to do my little red Chanel. Okay, I think plans. I think I'm going to do this Judith Lieber money bag. Are you fine wearing one of the other ones? Because it's the only one that matches my outfit. What are the other ones? The other ones are gold, so I can't do it with silver. Wait, no. is this a clutch? No. I could not figure out how to open it. What the? No, I think I... Okay, careful. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to bring out my G7X again tonight. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up. I could flip a dollar to a million. I don't like to brag, but I'm really on three, two, one. Anywhere I'm at. I wanted to do like a Barbie, Barbie pony, like that one scene in the movie or time in the. Maddie, I can't form a sentence right now. My spray tan is like, <laughs> this has never happened before. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, last night we went to the Sports Illustrated party. It was honestly very nice because we're staying at the Wynn and every dinner and event and like everything that we had last night was at the wind so we didn't have to leave the hotel and then once the night was over you just walk upstairs and go to sleep like i mentioned uh louis vuitton is dressing me for the game today so i went with this denim white vest jeans little matching situation i wanted to do something that was like a little more victoria beckham 90s as opposed to going super hard into like the football core um, so I went with this and I think it's really cute. I feel like I'm gonna be a little chilly, but that's fine. Hey. Yeah, let's see how you do under pressure. Oh yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me, brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra, extra. Fuck with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom, boom Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all Back in the room, Super Bowl weekend is over The game was probably one of the coolest things that I have ever experienced It was just so spectacular in every possible way. The energy was amazing. Like you could just tell there were so many people out there who were just having the best day of their lives. And that was really 
fun to experience. Really fun outfits, obviously super star-studded. The Usher show, I went in with pretty low expectations. I can't say I'm like a huge fan of Usher. I was like, oh, you know, I kind of felt indifferent about it. Seeing it live was so impressive. Just one of the most impressive production things that I've ever experienced. The dancers and the roller skating, it was so, it was so cool. That was, that was my favorite part of the game, I won't lie. Overall, just amazing, so cool. I hope that I can do another Super Bowl in the future. That being said, just because I wanna be honest with you guys, I had my first full-blown panic attack in years during the game today. I sobbed in the bathroom for 20 minutes. I, I couldn't breathe. I literally felt like I was dying. It was truly, truly awful. I'd forgotten what that even felt like. I just wanna say I really do think I could consider this weekend one of the best weekends of my life, but men ruined it for me. I think I touched on this earlier in this vlog, but the way the male population was behaving this weekend was so beyond words disgusting to me. I don't know if it's because everyone's drunk or because we're in Vegas and guys think that because we're in Vegas, you get like a, a hall pass to treat women in the way that me and my friends were treated this weekend, but I got grabbed, groped, harassed, catcalled. This went on the entire weekend everywhere that we went, but it happened at the game today. Um, non-stop like actually every few minutes you know we're, we're sitting in like seats like around a, a bunch of 49ers fans um and we could not even really experience and genuinely enjoy the game without getting harassed i've truly never experienced anything like it and it was so disappointing basically towards the start of the game there was just like situation after situation after situation. We're just sitting in our seats and then the guy behind me spilled his drink all over my my Louis Vuitton elf. And people were super loud and people were drunk and I know that's what you should expect at a sporting event. Obviously, <laughs> tennis is a little bit different. I've been to hockey games, whatever, but this was just a different level. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I don't go to concerts. I don't do music festivals because I just, get sensory overload and I get overstimulated really easily and that's when I tend to have panic attacks and that's what happened today. It really pushed me over the edge and this was kind of unfortunate. Like Maddie and I were sitting in the aisle so everyone who's like walking up and down to go to their seats is, you know, in very close contact with us. But this guy is walking up the stairs with his 10 year old son, maybe like eight year old son, like a young, young kid. And he's walking up, he looks at us and he goes, hey ladies, my son wanted to say hi to you. Come on, you wanted to say hi to them, didn't you? Say hi, hi ladies. And Maddie and I look at each other and I was so, so disgusted. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm just extra sensitive, but it sucked. That was, that was a not very great part of the day. I hope male sports fans, men in general, just do better. Anyways, I'm gonna have a chill little night in and then I go back to LA tomorrow afternoon. I have a shoot in LA all day Tuesday, and then I think Wednesday morning, I'm gonna fly to Miami to go to the Del Rey Open. And then we're back, and we're back on the tennis tour. Okay, hi Vegas. I went up every night and I survived. Woo, it was humbling, but we did it.